Hello there everyone and welcome to another edition of Lydia's Crafty Corner with me, Lydia, in my little crafty corner. So today I really wanted to play with a Galaxy Sky watercolour, but then I wanted to make it a little bit different so I then turned the flowers into watercolour flowers. So I'm going to be using the watercolour paper from Altenew. Now this is the 12 by 9 one. You don't necessarily need to use this size, I didn't use all of mine. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to take this piece of cardstock and I'm just going to add water to both sides. As you can see I'd already doodled on this one but it doesn't matter. That is going to be the back of my little painting that we're going to create now. So I'm just adding water all over there and that is going to help me with my watercolours. I'm then just going to use the water, um, a little spray bottle to activate the colours in the watercolours. So I'm just going to spray that on so these colours are nice and wet now. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to dab some various colours on to my little piece of cardstock that we have here. I say little, it is quite large and it is nice and wet. So as you can see, when I dab these colours down, they're just going to blend and move and do lots of beautiful things with each other to create some really great shades. So I am using the beautiful Cherry Blossom for the pink colour that I have there, that beautiful ready pink. Then I'm also going to use one of the orange colours. I think I used the Autumn colours and I think that's really, really pretty. The warm and cosy that was, sorry. And then for the purple, I used the shades of purple and then I'm just going to use a various blues. So the starry night, the clear water and also the desert night as well. So as you can see, I'm just kind of splodging this round wherever I want to. I am using the 24 pan from Altenew and I'm also using the largest round brush from the watercolour brush set. So once I'm happy with the amount of blue I have on there, I then wanted to darken that up. So I'm just going to take the rock collection and I'm just going to dab that in. As you can see, there is no kind of form or shape to this. I'm just dabbing them in and then just playing around with it. If you do want to add some more water as well, you can always take your um, spray bottle again and just mist that over and that's going to help that watercolour blend into each other really, really pretty. I don't want to add too much water down on this though because it will go into a huge kind of mess so be careful with the amount of water that you are popping down but it can take a lot of it. Once I'm happy with the background, don't worry it will dry nicer than this. I'm then going to take the metallic watercolours from Altenew and I'm just going to sprinkle and splatter some of some little stars in there. So I'm using the silver and also one of the golds just to add that in when it's wet and I'm going to let that dry and as you can see it has dried a lot nicer than it looked before. I then wanted to add a few more stars. Now these ones are going to sit on that dry watercolour rather than blend into it like the ones that we added before. So I'm just going to add some silver ones, some gold ones and I also added some copper ones in too. So it's completely up to you how many you do add but I do love this starry effect with the metallic watercolours. Once I've done that, instead of letting that dry naturally like I did before, I'm just going to heat set those just so it's all beautifully and dry now. So once I have that, I'm also going to take the watercolour garden layering die set and this is what I'm going to use to cut out my flowers. So I'm just going to lay the pieces, so these come in plates, so you don't really need to worry which ones go with which. I'm just going to pop them down into place onto that watercolour that we have there. I'm just kind of picking the places that I really like and just adding them into place. Now I'm not doing the leaves or the centres at this point, just the flower images. So I'm going to run that through my die cutting machine and I'm going to have all of these beautiful galactic sky kind of looking flowers here. So these do have various layers so I'm just going to pop them all out and I can have this for a future project there. Once I've taken all the pieces out, I'm just going to use the layering guide to work out which flower layers go with which flower. So I'm just going to pop them onto each other. Now they do look pretty as they are, but I then just kind of wanted to distinguish the layers a little bit more. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to take the antique gold um, ink from Altenew and I'm just going to add this around the edges. Now I am using a foam blending tool. I do find that these foam blending tools work a little bit better with the 
metallic ink colors. I do find that it adds a little bit more ink, so it gives that shiny effect. When I use these with the um, Altenew blending tools, they don't give me such a shine as you can see with the foam tool. So if you're having trouble kind of blending them, maybe try a different blending tool and then you might get a better effect that way. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add this beautiful gold ink around all of the flower layers. You don't need to do this if you don't want to, but I do love the way this distinguishes the layers from each other and it kind of makes it pop a little bit more. So as you can see, it did take a little bit of time to do this, but I did think that it was really worth it in the end. So once I've finished all of those flowers, I can then go ahead and stick them together. Again, I'm using the guide that comes with the die cuts so I can figure out which one goes where. And it does really, these are really easy to layer. So you, I reckon after you've layered them a couple of times, you're not gonna need that layering guide at all. I am using my Altenew tape glue to pop these together, but if you wanted to, you could always use the double-sided adhesive or even the wet glue that Altenew has as well. The wet glue will give you a little bit of more of a wiggle time to get these in the pos correct position but I find that my Altenew tape pen works perfectly for this. So once I have all the flowers together, I'm then gonna cut out the leaves and the centers. Now for the leaves and the centers, I decided to go with some gold foil cardstock. I thought this would be really cool to add be behind the um, flowers and also straight on top of them for the center. So I'm just gonna cut those out of some gold foil cardstock and then pop those to the side. I can then take these center pieces, again, my little Altenew tape glue, and I'm gonna pop the centers into these flowers. Now, these do not need to be positioned perfectly. These work really well if you have them slightly off or you don't even look at the guide at all. Just pop them on and it's gonna look really, really cool. Now, because these are loose layering dies, it doesn't matter if you get them slightly off, they are still gonna look really good. And I didn't in fact use all of these flowers so I can use these on a future project as well. So once I have all of the flowers together, I'm then gonna work on my card panel. This is a four by five and a quarter piece of jet black cardstock. And I am gonna pop a little sentiment. So I'm gonna be using the fancy sentiments and I'm gonna use the You Matter. And I'm gonna be using some embossing ink to stamp that into place. And then I'm just gonna use the beautiful rose gold embossing powder to heat set that in. As I was heat embossing, you can see that I have added some anti-static powder down there. So that's gonna stop those little pieces of the embossing powder sticking where I don't want them. Heat embossing is still magic to me. And I just love seeing the change of color when it does get nicely heat set. So once I've done that, I did then wanna add a little bit more to this background. I tried my foam tool, but it wasn't giving me the effect that I wanted. So I'm then gonna just take the antique gold and I'm just gonna kind of smear that along the background just to give me a little bit of extra texture there. I can then take all of my flowers that I had and all, as you can see, I've just played around with three and I've just popped them into position. Once I was happy with the amount of flowers and where they were, I then took the leaves and I'm just gonna play around with those and pop them into place. Now I don't have any adhesive on the back of any of this just yet. I just wanna play around and just make sure that I'm happy with the end result. So once I've done that, I then took a piece of press and seal as I was happy with the arrangement and I'm just gonna place that over the top and make sure it's nicely stuck to all of those floral images and also the leaves that we have there. I can then remove that and then flip it over and you can see that we're working on the back now. Now to keep these pieces all together, I'm just gonna add some foam tape on the back of there, making sure that I do go over the little joins that are in each of the die cuts. So that's really gonna keep them together and create a really sturdy piece in one. Once I'm happy with the amount of adhesive that I have on the back of there, I'm also just gonna take off the backing. I can flip it over then, and as it's still attached to my little press and seal sheet, I can pop that into place where I want it to be, just in one little piece. Remove the front of the press and seal, and I'm just gonna add this panel onto a card base, which is four and a quarter by five and a half. And I'm just using my Altenew tape glue for that, trimming off any overhanging pieces, and there is the card complete. I really do hope that you like the card and that you've enjoyed the video as well. If you do create a card that was inspired by this, it'd be great if you do share, because we would love to see. Thank you so much for watching everyone, and we'll see you again really, really soon. Bye-bye. 
Hello there crafty friend, Lydia here. Just popping in to say that you can get your daily dose of crafting tips, techniques and tutorials just like this by subscribing to the Altenew YouTube channel. All you need to do is click on that little bell up there and you will never miss a video. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.